Hello, um, I am Hayley Loren, I'm a marine engineer and I am joined by Alex Knight who is a mechanical engineer and today we are chatting about mechanical engineering so what is it, what's involved and what sort of jobs can you go into. So if you're interested in mechanical engineering this is the chat for you. I make videos about engineering so if that sounds good to you then consider sub subscribing. I can't say subscribing. That can stay in. That's fine. <laughs> so what is mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineering is creating, designing, making, building and improving things, systems in the world around us. So can that relate to any industry? I would say it relates to pretty much every industry. Everything you come across, everything you touch, everything you use will at some point more likely than not have had a mechanical engineer involved in the design or the creation or the build or the maintaining of it. So what industry are you in at the moment? I'm actually predominantly in the civil engineering industry now. Way! Uh, I used to be much more in mechanical engineering and systems engineering, um, but I've moved into a more civil infrastructure based organisation. But I still work with a range of mechanical and um, civil and electronic and electrical engineers. So when you first started, like what was your first job? My very first job actually was working for a medical engineering company. So I was creating um, and testing sensors that went on a little device that kids with asthma could check how whether their asthma was getting better or worse and then adjust their medication accordingly. So it was really interesting because I was straight out of university and went to work for this tiny little company, only five people, <laughs> and we were doing something really important and really making a difference yeah. to children's lives. And I got to go into hospitals and do testing on this device um, and work in all sorts of different areas of production and manufacture and testing and clinical trials. So it was fantastic for a first job. It sounds like it's got, because when I was young, I used to have one of those inhalers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blue ones. Yeah. And you just have to kind of guess if it was working or yeah. not. Yeah, and the trouble is when you go to get your asthma checked and you have to do what's called spirometry, and you have to take a really deep breath and then breathe out as fast and as hard as you can, I hate it those. actually makes you cough and is really unpleasant for kids. Mm. And some kids can't even do it. Whereas the thing we were designing was actually to make it a lot more easier. You could just breathe into it normally or even just speak into it and it would pick up how well your asthma was coping that day. Wow. So, yeah. so what was the actual mechanical part of that then? So it was some design. So designing the, the housing that the sensor would go into to make sure that we captured the right amount of airflow over it. Mm. Um, and also the testing element of it. So working in a lab and testing to make sure that the sensors were repeatable. You got repeatable results from them. Yeah. Um, and also working with suppliers to get these sensors that actually had um, a sort of chemical film on it. So although I wasn't the expert in the chemical film, we had a biochemist who was expert in that. And I did the mechanical design of how to house that and keep it safe so that kids couldn't pull it out, swallow it, you know, all those ah, kind of things. Yeah. yeah. When you were talking about that and the kids, I suddenly just jumped to toys. Yeah. Can mechanical, because obviously you've got those little trucks, like my yeah, little cousin yeah, yeah. who's got this little car that he drives around in. Yeah. Is that mechanical? Of course it is, yeah. Everything is mechanical engineering. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I've got two kids. My kids play with toys that have been designed, manufactured by mechanical engineers and product designers, you know, so you work together. Mm. But in terms of how something actually works, then you need a mechanical engineer to design and test that to make sure it's going to do what it needs to do and that it's safe. So planes, obviously, cars. Yeah. Any yeah. form of transport. Any form of transport. Anything you can think that you, you come in contact with in your life. So from getting up in the morning to turning the shower on. How does the water get there? How is the shower system designed? To going downstairs and making your breakfast. Where's the food produced? How does it get to where you need it to get to in the shops? Through turning the light on and the TV on. How does the electricity get to where it needs to go? So energy production energy transmission, you know, everything is a combination of different types of engineering, but mechanical engineering is so broad mm. that really it touches on so many different elements and, and kind of has weaves into all different types of engineering. Oh, that, <laughs> it's I feel best, so it's passionate right now. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it crazy to think that it just surrounds us yeah, um, yeah. all the time? Yeah, you can't get away from it. And that's why we need more engineers because everything we rely on in our lives is engineering like engineering is fundamental to everything we need 
And especially when you think about the future, addressing those kind of global challenges we've yeah. got, we're going to need more engineers and more yeah. mechanical engineers, but more broadly, more engineers, full stop, Absolutely. to help us address those global challenges and achieve our global goals. Speaking of then getting into engineering and we mm. need more engineers, what would your advice be if there was like an A-level student mm. thinking, oh, should I go into engineering? What should I study for A-level potentially? Yeah. What yeah. would your advice be? Well, I suppose traditionally it's maths and science. Like you do need basic maths. Um, it's very hard to do some of the things you need to do to say understand how strong a material is or understand how something's going to perform, at what point it's going to fail, if you can't do the maths to understand the calculations around how that thing is going to perform. But I wouldn't say you need to be a maths genius. You just need to have enough maths ability. So maths is a good one. Um, obviously science is. But also things like the creative side of things, so arts or technology, we need that creativity to, mm. to provide the innovation that's actually going to make things better and move us forward. Mm. That's so true. I've, been, I've met quite a few um, engineers who did art yeah. and they did music. So they yes. only did maths as their one A-level and then yeah. the rest of it was creative. Yeah. And actually, it's really, really helped them yeah, all through yeah, their careers because definitely. you can think differently and yeah, out think of the outside box. the box. And my husband is an engineer as well. He didn't do maths A level at all. So he did physics, and then when he got to university, he did a foundation in maths mm. for a year alongside other subjects to help him get the basics that he needed. And now he works in energy from waste plants and does, you know, all this fantastic stuff. And he's a fantastic engineer, but he didn't actually have maths A level. Wow. I didn't he's, either. He's, he's also chartered, you know, so it doesn't yeah. stop you getting chartered. Mm. There, I don't think there's any limit, really. That's, mm. a, that's a great thing. There are so mm. many different ways to get into engineering now. So what if you could work on any project that exists right now, yeah. what, what would you work on? Wow, what a great question. <laughs> uh, well, I have to say, although I've moved away from medical engineering, that's where my career started. And I've gone round the houses from submarines to bridges. Um, but I feel like I would love to get back into something that's really making a fundamental difference to people's lives. And I feel like there's the health and medical side of engineering is so fundamental. So I would love at some point, and I don't know where my future engineering career is going because it goes up and down and all around the houses, <laughs> but one day I'd love to get a link back into health and medical engineering and ideally working with children. My goodness. The, the amazing thing I always think about engineering is that you can find something that you're genuinely mm. passionate about in industry and then you can just look into it and see, okay, what type of engineering is involved yeah. in that industry. Mm. So you can work in things that really make a difference, um, which is personally why I went into it because yeah. I love renewable energy and things like that. If you have any questions at all for Alex, then feel free just to drop them in the comments and I'm sure you'll be happy to Absolutely. answer them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining and see you next time.